have two and a half minutes left, actually, so I won't take a breath and I'll stay focused. I've read this report, and I have never read a more self-serving report that serves the narrative that has already been determined by the government. We did nothing. And naughty people really came forward to look for benefits that they didn't deserve that wasn't based on legislation. And not alone is it done that way, but it's also done in a way that's divisive because it talks about should younger people now be paying for the past. It's also demeaning because it talks about people coming forward and looking for gratuitous uh, nursing home beds. It's also very misleading and disingenuous because it doesn't deal at all with the strategy that was based on the question, the fundamental question, were people entitled to nursing home care under the existing legislation, 1970, section 52, were they entitled to that? It completely ignores the background to all of this, the almost 50 years of complaints from the ombudsman in 1985 onwards, three ombudsmen inundated with complaints on both sides, the private nursing homes where people had no choice but to go in there. And this attorney general tells us they had a choice, doesn't even look at how they were forced into it. The ombudsman telling us that the law is, the position is confused, tells us the key legal point is whether people have an enforceable right to be provided by the health executive. That goes on to tell us that this confusion, uncertainty, which is a hallmark, not of the law, but of how the department and ministers and governments thought the law was saying, because that suited them. And we get this report that is nothing short of shocking, but what it does, it exposes that the Attorney General is simply there for the government, to advise the government and has no role in public interest. And he has the cheek to go and equate public interest with his analysis of a difficult financial situation and not even highlight the gap that's there that there's nobody to represent the public interest. And in his report, he refers to legislation, 2014, the Health Amendment Act. You might help me there because I or my office couldn't find that act anywhere. I'll stop precisely on time, even though I'd like to say a lot more. And I hope this is the start of a debate on the public interest role of the Attorney General or someone else. Sorry, my colleague.